David is our 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 connector lah, David. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is uh, our Christian couple to join us, but no promises ah. Uh. Yeah, Peter. Mm. At least David uh, keep us in touch ah. Uh. All of us. I'm trying very hard lah. Uh. We became also lah. Uh. Mm. Hello, uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. yeah, Peter, you are you are in the Zoom lah. Eh? Ah, you can join us. Thank you. Uh, so I just called your Peter. He's joining us. <laughs> mm. But baby, shock uh, only four of us. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Who's, who's Wang Chia Yi? Um, Simon, uh, Simon. Where is the Simon? Uh? Simon joined us last year. Uh, it's me. La. I don't know why my son's name pop out. <laughs> Uh, who, is who is me? <laughs> who is me? Yes. Who is that? Your video is not on. La. Oh, TV. What TV. Yes, TV. I don't know oh, why TV. my son's oh, name pop out. He must have used this. On TV, what happened to your good friend? Your, your video is not on TV. Your, your, your video is not on. Ah, la. okay. ah, ah, now now, now it's on. on la. La. Now you can see me. Ah. Ah, <laughs> what la, nampa, la. what ah, happened to What happened to your main? I, I don't know. I, I didn't manage to 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 get him. Uh, I should have uh, guessed a uh, Wong Wang 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 yeah, I was thinking who. <laughs> but I, TV, I don't know your Wang is this Wang. I thought your Wong is the yellow Wong because your Cantonese is. No, la, it's, I can't it's tell like, which one. But during during our days, we never I, I asked what Chinese la. name. Uh. Huh? <laughs> during our secondary day school days. Yeah, la. <laughs> So you you hardly see you are. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So what the uh, reception so so bad or this is uh, so too early for us? Ah, uh, organizer. Malaysia, Malaysia Singapore uh. same time. School, so this right? is the uh, this is the uh, Wang ah. Uh. Ah, uh, 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 same as you ah. Same as you lah. Ah, we are. <laughs> Wow, so you go and put up the background picture. What class is this one? Hmm? Okay. I don't know. I just find, I think it's Tochu Kian la, who posted in our group there. That's form 2, I think. Uh, Mr. Chua. Mr. Chua, yes. That's our form Mr. 2. Mr. Chua Kai Tong, right? Yes. <laughs> wow, some of the picture very blur. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, can I think can digitally do it. Uh, do, don't know how they digitally do it. Uh, they can Photoshop it very sharp, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of work. Peter, how you do your background? Uh, can be done. How I do my background? Uh, I, I use it. the picture. I think it's in our group. I, uh, is this Hochu Ken who put it in? Then in I the use PowerPoint. Uh, and I, uh. Because I do a lot of all these things. Oh, when I do yeah. Zoom. Oh, you're an expert in this. Uh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So I I did it for my my own firm. Mm. Oh, yes. You used to have Zoom meeting with your, I your client. I start doing it about six plus, uh, about seven plus. Yes, all. <laughs> so you're you're the graphic designer for your agent for your firm, lah. Not graphic <laughs> designer. This is a simple one, ah. <laughs> Very expensive graphic designer for his firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking around, <laughs> looking around for pictures. <laughs> Hey, Naiji, are you, are you still in Singapore or you went home? I'm in Singapore. I've not uh, gone home since two Chinese New Year ago. So not, not planning to go back as well? Lah. After this, I, I mean Chinese New Year is a bad time with all this hassle and uh, yeah, with a lot unknown. Uh, and with with uh, people rushing for tickets and all that. Maybe after this Chinese New Year and see how's, how's the process okay, like. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, think we, we don't know who is where. Huh? So why I say Peter Ong in Singapore? <laughs> you're saying we're where? <laughs> Two of you in That's Singapore. Right. <laughs> Two of us in Malaysia. Three of you in Singapore. <laughs> Peter, you went back, right? When they, they opened up. Uh, I went back on 26. Okay. And that is the time when they stop it. I bought the ticket already be, uh. before they announced the, the stop. Okay. I I came back with uh Ling Sang's brother. Uh. 
Long Shila. Yes, ah, Long Shila. Long Shila was nice. Ah, he, ah, he was involved in some investment company. He got open an account for me, just for me to go back. Oh. <laughs> and he placed five hundred USD there. Well, no. <laughs> and no, the 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 company ah uh, sponsored two ah uh, two nights in Grand Hyatt. Okay. Then when I reached there, he added me as a leader. Uh, so they give another two nights, so four nights in Grand Hyatt. That's great. Uh, and then they cover the air ticket and the PCR test. Hmm. Where in Subang Jaya? Ah, Grand Hyatt in the KLCC. Oh, I see, see, see. Ah, uh, so so then I I follow him. He say until fifth ten days ah uh, until fifth of January. So I just went back with him on the same flight. Okay lah, you got good deal lah then. Ah, uh, so managed to change my new IC, and also renew my ah uh, driving license, which is supposed to be the last day on thirty first of December. Mm. I did it on twenty seven. I'm very very lucky. <laughs> When I went there, ah, uh, the JPN say, ah, oh, you're lucky. A few more days, ah, uh, you have to retake. Pass me also renew ah. Passport also renew ah. Passport ah uh, October. So if I want to renew, I will try to get the high commissioner here to help me lah. Hmm. I, Because I, think I mean, my uh, I, mean uh, I mean the Messis ah uh, Malaysian Association in Singapore, uh, committee you see. Hmm. I should so, ask you. Last year was last year I did it quite a bad, bad queue. But it's very difficult for, it. for me to go and get other people <laughs> like the front gate like like that. <laughs> oh, somebody! Who is that? Oh, examiner. Who is that? Number six is who? That Wang. Ah. Examiner, examiner is who? Ah. Who is examiner? Can you on the uh, your video? Who is examiner? Ah? Can you? Ah. Somebody oh, use the the sunscreen or what? <laughs> That's Mohan. Mohan, uh, Mohan Raj. Hi, hi. Uh, hi, Mohan. Long Mohan, time. Hi. How are you guys? I I thought that to Peter. Hey, Dr. Mohan. I thought that to Jaya Peter, examiner. <laughs> no, no, because, no, no, because I was examining the students earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. mm. In fact, just now I have my case uh, on my on my name also. You see, when we appear in court, ah, uh, we need to put the case name and then But, the lawyer's name at the law firm. I just realized, so I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. How are you guys? Good, good. I'm great. Hi, Mohan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mohan, you enjoy JB, ah? Yes. So very near them, lah. Very near these guys, lah. <laughs> Are you involved in the PCR test? Why we come cross? Yeah. <laughs> Are you involved in the PCR test? Involved in it? Sorry. PCR test for those VTL. Involved in it in what way? Sorry, I don't understand, Peter. You are doctor, right? Medical doctor. Yes. Ah, uh, so are you involved in the PCR test? I think they make a lot of money, dear. No, no, no. Um, because I work in a private hospital. The the hospital is the one that actually has the test for us. I see. I just order it, and the hospital does it. Like when I reach this uh, KLIA, so they have this uh doctor to you. Ah, uh, for one hour is three hundred seventy dollars. Ringgit. <laughs> I think if you get the tender, it's good. Huh? <laughs> but but you know like that is all for cronies, lah. <laughs> And then Singapore refers uh medical. Right. But they make a lot of money. How much is it in Singapore PCR? Ah uh, PCR hundred and thirty. Hundred thirty. Ah. Same. I think when you came it's cheaper. When I came back, I think it's not so expensive. Three hundred. Going the there, the PCR ringgit or. Uh, dollar. The three seventy Singapore dollar. Three hundred seventy ringgit when ringgit. I touch KLIA. It's Singapore one hundred thirty Sing. That's a ripoff, lah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
okay, three hundred and thirty seventy uh, is uh, for one hour. If you want to wait for three hours, is uh, burden. Ah, uh, two hundred and seventy. So one hundred. When you reach there, you touch down. Then there, there's a sign about who want to upgrade, who want to upgrade. So you don't <laughs> wait for three hours, uh, Then you pay extra hundred. Under under sing. Huh? Ringgit. Ah, uh, under ringgit. 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 Mm. But we we book it, we pay it before we uh our departure because when you reach there, you just show the QR code. Right. Time, time is important, uh, So I guess uh my brother in law Long Shi and I we just pay three hundred seventy. So so there's no quarantine, nothing now. You can just walk through. Uh walk through. We wait there for uh for one hour for the result. Once the result is clear, we walk out. No quarantine. But then every day we have to do the FE test. The third day and the sixth day, uh, uh, the fifth day, we have to go to the supervise in the clinic. That you have to do in a, in a clinic now. Yeah, in the clinic, approved clinic. And they upload it. So the, the self-administered one, how do you do you show them? Or send uh, my psychiatra. Oh, okay. Okay, I think for your um like maybe TV and Nike, if you have not come back, uh, just go and download my psychiatra and then upload your vaccination certificate. Because it, because it takes about seven days for them. Oh. So okay. when you when you go there, it's easy. Where, where do you do, uh, do this certification thingy? I was online, is it? Uh, the my psychiatra is, is a is an app you download. Then your vaccination certificate, you can go to MOH your sing pass. Those oh. you download that and you upload the the certificate. Okay. Because if you go to FAQ, they will tell you uh, if you got vaccinated overseas, uh, then they will tell you what to do. Go and download the certificate. Hello, Joy, what's up? Zoom. Starting, right? Zoom, Zoom. Zoom, uh, our Zoom. Uh. The My Sajatra okay, is like okay. our, our, our trace together. Our trace together, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we were thinking, uh, but still a bit of hassle. Uh. Then they keep changing, you know. Yeah. I think the what you were describing is now also changed already. You don't have to do the ART test for two times or whatever. So, you know. Mm. Uh, In fact, it's better for, for, your, for now. Uh. <laughs> I think so, uh, but still, uh, still. When I came to, back, I still have to go to uh, do the third day and seven day in Singapore. Yeah. Oh, when you're back. Okay. Mm. Now, now we have come back, you don't now need. Now you don't need. Now you don't need. But you, you still need to do the oh, self checking, right? ART, if you need, no. I think for the first five days or something or seven days. So otherwise, I, you can. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, okay. What I did was I bought uh, quite a lot of uh, about 30 boxes of ART test kit from KL. Hello, very cheap. Of website. Hello? 680 ringgit. Wow. Wow. They say 99. Uh, 99 supermarket is 590, but I think I better get from pharmacies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. 680 ringgit, a bit more. But okay, at least right. uh, we don't know where it came from, you see. Okay, for Singapore average about $8. Uh, for, mm. for test. Why you use up all the free one given by the government earlier? Uh? No, I, I don't really test actually. Uh, same here. I need some customers required us to send in our result the day before. And that's hopefully yeah, happened my, once my, so far. But when you go to the court, I thought you're supposed to do a roster testing. No lah. No need. No one asked. Okay. And you don't need to upload. And most of the courts are now Zoom, except a certain trial. So, Mohan, how's your business? Although you stay in JB, we have not met for so many years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
No, uh, believe, uh, believe it or not, you know, ever since the lockdown, uh, I go to work at 9 o'clock, I'll be back home by 1. Wow. 1 a.m. No, 1 p.m. Oh. <laughs> you know, because, because my clinic runs strictly by appointment, Mm. Right, so so my girls gives all the appointment, and 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 because we don't get our Indonesian patients, we don't get the patients who are working in Singapore. Most uh, husbands are not working there, so 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 the number have actually dropped so so drastically. Oh, Dato Peter. Oh, Dato L L Peter is here. Oh. Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter is here. Eh? Sir. Still okay. connecting the video. You. you on your video, sir. So he is uh, no, no, it's not yet. Connecting is, the uh, video. Connect audio. Connect the audio. Yeah. So so good. So kind of him eh, to join us. Yeah, the audio is true already. Oh. Mm. Uh, he is muted. Yeah. He can hear us. Yep. But we can't hear him. But we have all gone quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Peter. Uh, Mr. Peter. He needs to uh, unmute first, otherwise you will hear. I think those in the corporate uh, world are still working that we use a lot of Zoom. Other than that, if we retire, then I think that there's no necessity. Yep. Maybe, Dato, Peter, you can actually type, type in in the chat. Oh, you need to find the thing and click it. It says video. I try to call him. Depending on where you're using the PC or I'm using an iPad. Yeah, I'm using a normal uh, It's okay. Laptop. I mean, all the tools thing you can see at the bottom of bottom, the screen. Yeah. It's, got, it's got an iPhone, iPhone. iPhone hmm. is uh, at the bottom. What, what color? Anyone you know what color or what how it looks like? Uh, on, on the leftmost, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we... For a moment there, we saw him. Yes. And yeah. then at the bottom left, there's a, something that looks like a mic, the old old fashioned mic, that's to unmute. How come he didn't on the thing? Huh? <laughs> I call him so no answer. Ah, Nato. Mm -hmm. It could you be need to you unmute your, 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 phone. Your, your phone and uh, uh, on your video. We can't see you. Hello? <laughs> Maybe he's not used to it. It's okay. Mm. Right. Ah, that's what you Peter. Good evening, sir. Can you evening, see sir. Me? Yes, you can see Good evening, you. sir. Yeah. You know, Good Peter, evening, eh? sir. How are you, sir? Ah, how are you? Yes. You... I'm fine, sir. I'm all right? Yes, yeah, sir. You're right. Yes, you're good. I can oh. hear you. Oh. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. 
can see uh, you loud you are loud and clear uh -huh. thank you thank you how are you uh, hi sir uh, all good how are you keeping it though <laughs> it's a long story la it's a long story <laughs> you, you, you're, you, you're, you're doing a marvelous job man you keeping uh? occupied with academic work huh? uh. uh. so how many of you are there on it now plus sir it's about seven seven plus that, you yes, yes. that's so well. <laughs> we had seven We had almost seventy <laughs> times seven, but last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe maybe some will be coming in later. Uh, yeah, some yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, class ACS Clang reunion nineteen eighty three. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these, Long these, time ago. These two are the badges that uh, I I'm still keeping. Uh, ah. getting rusty. Oh, there are two. Yes, uh, the ah. older one and the uh, newer one. Hmm. The the crest. Yeah. Uh, the older one is the one with the uh, is divided into four. Huh? The mm. cross. The cross. The cross. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a cross. I didn't put it here. There's there's one older one with the cross. The yellow cross, right? Ah. Ah. That was the older one. one. Uh, See that was, uh, there are a few, a like, few of them. Mm. One there was no cross, nothing. It was uh, the uh, in between. There was one without a cross because people said mm. uh, you cannot divide it into four quadrants. It will look like a cross. Mm. Uh, yes, look like Christian. Uh, do you see? Do you see the? Do you see the? Picture behind me. Yes. Uh, uh, the, yeah. The ACS that was given to me for my retirement by the mm. students. Which year, that, and, uh, huh? Which year was that, sir? Which year was that, sir? 1993, when I retired. Oh, uh, Jin. They got somebody to paint it, lah. Ah, my farewell. That's right. They painted it. Painted this for me. So mm. I still, uh, I ha still have it behind me. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So how are you guys doing, all of you? We are, we are good. We are, good. And we, are, okay. we are all over the country. That yeah. where are you? Where some are in JB, you? some in Singapore. I'm in Singapore. Some, some in Singapore. Some in Singapore. Oh. oh. I am in JB. So, so in fact, oh, this oh. is the one, right? This is the one with the cross, the O one. Ah, that's right. That's right. That's and right. after this, there's one without a cross, which is a full blue yes. background. Then yes. they divide it again. Yes, yes. We had quite a few, lah. Yes. Ah, um, so some of you, I've forgotten your names. Some, please give me your names. You are? I'm Naiji, Mr. Pira. I'm not sure Na if, you, if you remember. Naiji. Yeah. You're the lawyer. No, 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 no. Lawyer is uh, Peter. And lawyer is Peter. Peter. <laughs> uh, uh. And you are in Singapore. What do you do? I'm in Singapore. Singapore. I was a trained engineer, but I I've been doing HR and head hunting for the last twenty over years. Oh no wonder you have, don't have hair like you hunt people. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, all the, all the guys has more hair than me. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, good lah, and uh, good good. How many children are you? You have? I'm I'm married, but no kids. Oh, good. That's also in some ways during this crisis period, it is also yeah. good lah, you know. Yeah. Hmm. But Singapore is okay lah. We yes. we have got fantastic things going on here. You see? <laughs> 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 And what's your name, sir? Your ah uh, ah me ah Peter Ong. Oh, he's the lawyer. He came from the old boys dinner. Yeah, yeah, Singapore also. Singapore. Yeah, lah, the outstanding lawyer, lah. Mm. <laughs> uh, outstanding lawyer. I, I, I never, I never touched you. You know, I never touched you. You are too good. You are too good to be touched. <laughs> oh, I don't. Very I, good, I'm blessed. I have not been caned by you. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, those are all uh, what do you call uh, uh, meted out with love, la. meted out with love. It was all. Oh, you know? at, at that time, it was quite terrified, right? Oh, it was right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I first came, I was quite terrified because ACS was reputed to be a very gung ho kind of a school, you know, notorious. <laughs> We were you know? in Form 1, Nato, at the time. Yes, huh? uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right, yeah. yeah. Our first year. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, they <laughs> sent me all, all kinds of things, la. all kinds of things <laughs> I had. My God. And then uh, I remember Liu Fo San and Kanagaraj. I mean, they were, those days, they were in Form 5. La. Mm -hmm. I had came the two of them. <laughs> they were, oh. Because they, they were fighting, they were fighting. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Kanagaraj is a contractor, I think, now somewhere in uh, Banting side. For mm. son, I don't know where he is. La. I mean, all. Oh, you remember? Um, uh, some, you know, you see, you remember the uh, guys are uh, notorious, <laughs> <laughs> or the ones who are outstanding. Mm. But the average ones you don't love because as a head, mm. you don't come into contact with them, you know. Mm. See, if I was teaching there, then I would remember them. Mm. You see, so this one, those who are like all the most of the school captains I can remember, and top students, then some of the sportsmen. Mm. So yesterday, I think I met somebody in the bank. He said he was an old boy of ACS also. And then he's selling, um, what do you call, uh, <clears throat> water heaters. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, Ravin, Ravin something. Of course, he's got a Muslim name now. La, so things like that, you know. And then they tell you, then you start remember, trying to remember them, la, the incidents. Mm. La. Oh, that is life. Yeah. So, Peter, you have how many children? I have two boys. Um, one they is also, two this month, the other is 19. Anybody becoming a lawyer? Anyone uh, wants to be none. a lawyer? My, my eldest, 22 years old, is just signed on with the uh, military. He oh. undergoes. Oh. Uh, he, he has to go there. National, ser national service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, national service and he managed to be the uh, join the officer cadet school. And oh, he, good. Very good. The top, now, the top recruit. Did you know uh, he was your dean or Professor Tan? Um, William. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. King, King, King Feng. No, I don't know. Law, law, lecturer. Oh. University, University of Singapore. Oh, I don't know. Mm. You don't know, huh? I don't know. But I thought you said uh, Professor Tan William is my, uh, he joined me as a consultant in my law oh, firm. I see. Uh, he is a lecturer in SMU, Singapore Management. management oh, University. I see. I see. I'm mentioning uh, Tan King Feng because he passed mm. away. Oh. And he was University of Singapore law lecturer, you know. Oh. He passed away, passed away a few, two years ago, I think. Tan King Feng, you know. I don't know this. Because some of, some of the professors I, I would have known. Oh, because he was an old old student, old student of mine in Pontian. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of good memories and so on. So young, eh? Uh, so good luck, good, good to so nice of you to get together and chat. Uh, yeah, thanks to David, uh, using and using. Uh, mm. Um, what's uh, I keep forgetting your name, you know. Still, uh, I mean, Philip, 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 Philip,
excellent mm. charity work and social service. Where possible. You know? uh, very good. Uh, excellent. Excellent. You, you, yeah. you have been a very good supporter, Ado. Well, mm. we, we encourage you. We encourage you, Dari Blakang. Like, <laughs> uh, good luck. What to do? Life is... Yeah. Oh, just kidding. Uh, Peter, Peter has been doing a lot of uh, pro bono work for those in the what do you call it in the in the in the prisons and all that. I think he also serves in the prison board and all that. Peter, I used to visit. Uh, oh, uh, Peter! Huh? Oh, board. very oh, good. Oh. Board. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm I'm the assigned lawyer by the Supreme Court for capital cases. Mm. Oh, uh, and. Initially, I did a lot of those uh, criminal legal aid uh, by oh. law society. Oh, fantastic, man. Fantastic. But you didn't have to do anything with that guy, uh, poor fellow who was sentenced uh, the drug case. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, not, no, not uh, on this, but I did other drug cases and also the murder of the 15 uh, by a 15 year old boy, the murder, this Anthony Le. Uh, uh, it's a Singapore case. Boy to, to, uh. to kill his wife. Oh, oh, oh. I, I did the case and he was sentenced to, to detention during the pressure of the president. Oh, and oh, oh. three years ago, I managed to, I still kept the files. 17 uh. years later, I managed to petition to the president to get his release. Oh, he's out. Clemency. Yeah. Clemency. Oh, very good, la. Very good. This uh, drug case, fellow. What is going to happen now? Na Nagul Nagundan, ah. I think something. Like that. Ah. ah. Okay, he is quite quite lucky, I would say, because ah. uh, he's supposed to be hanged. Then he yes. got caught. And now I I think that the second time, I I don't know what happened. I think also something something happened. Oh. Hmm. But so hopefully the, the, the decision has not been made yet. Yes, huh? Yeah. Oh, I think once he was uh, not uh, once they pardoned him. Did they pardon him at once? No. No, no. Okay, for drug cases in Singapore, only two uh for the history is only two pardon. Oh only oh. two got clemency for drug cases. One of them is because of cancer. She oh. came out two weeks later, she died. It's a lady. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, the other one, I, I don't know the details. Only two. Singapore oh. had a half sense on drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Terrible, huh? Hmm. No, no nonsense approach. Lo. Yeah. Can you, can you send some of your Singaporeans here to Singaporean system into the <laughs> Malaysian system? <laughs> <laughs> You, you may get swallowed up. La. You may get <laughs> swallowed up by the Malaysian system. Mm. You know, uh, you, you're going all kinds. You talk also, you know, you don't know what you're, what they're planning. You don't know what they're going mm. to do. What mm -hmm. Anybody has any idea about the uh, coming Johor, Johor election, sir? I'm in Johor, Tanto. Ah. And, and, we, and we down here also don't know why they're having an election. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're in JP, yeah? Yes, yes, that too. I am. Uh, your name is Mohan Raj. Um, I'm actually I'm a gynecologist. Oh, 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 oh. are you in the Hoga in uh, Tunku? No, uh, no, no. Um, uh, I'm in the KPJ, KPJ group. Oh, KPJ, KPJ. So, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, so you, you bring out all the babies, lah. <laughs> um, in fact, in, in fact, I do. Uh, I'm an infertility specialist. I do test your oh. babies and things like oh, that. IV, IV. Oh, IV, IV, yeah. IV, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great, great, great. Your family is all here, parents and all. My fa my father was the postmaster down there a long time ago. Uh huh. Uh, but then uh, he passed away, and then we all moved out from uh, Klang. So, so when your father was the postmaster, he was, was in one, one chap called Murthy, Mr. Murthy, postal clerk. Huh? I'm not sure because he was in Bunting and used to travel. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, so, so we we were in Klang and. Oh, you know, I see. Uh -huh. 
So you, so you are, you've got uh, how many kids now? I got three kids, Dato. My uh -huh. one son and two daughters. Uh -huh. My eldest son just completed his business degree and he's working. Oh, I see. My, my daughter just completed a, a law degree. Uh -huh. She's now sitting for a bar. Yeah. And my uh, third daughter is also doing business studies now. Nobody wants to be a doctor. <laughs> I have been brainwashing them from young and has been succeeding. <laughs> you know, this is what happens, you know. Most uh, of the children don't want to follow their parents. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's the same. You see, for example, um, uh, we have a famous tailor in Klang called Chung Tailor. You know, he's the only Chinese tailor, Chinese shop in the midst of the Indian street. Mm. All our Indian shops, there's one, you know, Ronnie Chung. His, mm. uh, his brother was... Oh, he's an actuary, but he's in England. No, no, he was not uh, from ACS, he was from LaSalle. So anyway, Chum, his children, none of them want to, he Take wants up. to pass on the trade to somebody. Nobody yeah. wants to do it. So now the Bangladeshis are the ones who are <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wow. He has taught them how to do the things and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. no, but the children have, uh, some, have some have become doctors. Some have become business uh, administrative things and all that. I think that all the old trade is all gone, like you know. Mm -hmm. And to especially like uh, watch me watch preparers. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, if you go to Jalan uh, Malay Street, you've got some mm -hmm. old watch yeah, preparers. Uh, you go to them, they will they will repair your watch for you. But the young fellas who say, "Ini tabule pakai lah jual lah, ini tabule tabule pakai," you know, and they will tell you straight, you yeah. cannot. But the old man, he will use his magnifying glass, look into it. Said, "Tiapa, you satu minggu you datang saya bikin kasih." You know, they are very good. But the young, uh, just like the cars lah, mm. cars they don't repair what a lot of things. Yeah. We value things those days. Yes. Yes. Now nobody. It's a, uh, I mean, it's knowledge of craft, it's knowledge of uh, all these things uh, mm. that makes you a better person, actually. Mm. You know, you don't give up. You don't give up. You work on it and you, but today's uh, current world, the values are so different. You don't know. Is Anyway, so... So, so nobody they recycle. They just they they recycle. Now, now they only talk about recycling. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, everything is recycling life. Mm. Uh, they will tell you, you cannot, you know, I, I have got two or three TVs. When I bought new ones, mm. I told them, you any apa bikin, any bong la bong. I said, tapi boleh pakai. You know? Mm. That's how they say. Especially the fridges, you know. The mm. fridge, that fellow will charge you $80 to go and throw it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. You can buy a fridge from him, but itu lama punya mau angkara. Itu lapang puluh ringgit dong. Straight away. So it's, 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 it's like that. Yeah. But uh, I think in the US, they can have their, what sale they call it, um, you know, mm. they can put out their things in front of the house garage, and say, garage, garage sale. Uh, garage sale, yes. A lot of people come and buy, you know, and uh, they buy it and, and then, because for example, they buy things for the children, toys and, uh, you know, nice expensive uh, uh, items that they use and even nice uh, big uh, cradle beds and things like that. So they only use it for a short while. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they pack it up and leave it in mm -hmm. the attic or something. And one fine day, they put all these outside. Mm -hmm. And those who want it will come and buy it. Mm -hmm. you know? But here, you cannot do all that. You put it outside. Outside, the fellas <laughs> will come. <laughs> they will come with a truck <laughs> carry, put it into the other thing and take it away. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I tell you. In fact, this in Singapore, I, I think Nike and TV, uh, we have this carousel. Uh -huh. 
uh, uh, the app called Carousel, I do not know whether is it available in Malaysia or not. Uh, this Carousel is C-A-R-O-U-S-E-L-L. As in Sell. selling, yes. Uh, uh -huh. so, so I had some, some things that I managed to sell it in Carousel. Oh, can, eh? You can get secondhand things there also. Uh -huh. Uh, and they talk about eBay or what is that? Uh, they can eBay sell things. is another another thing, but they are buying things. Those are new new products. But carousel is you do not want to sell. You do not want to throw away certain things, uh -huh. and especially those old furniture. There are people who yes, who yes, huh? uh, Oh my god! Yeah, because you don't throw away furniture because they cannot be used. You hmm. are throwing maybe because you want to get a brighter color or different color or mm. things, you know, but this old one. Actually, uh, the <clears throat> furniture that I use uh, was uh, it was from the 70s, you know. Mm. Mm. I'm still using it because this uh, contractor who was a good friend of mine, very good man, I still try to look mm. for him. I don't know whether he's alive. The other day I went looking <laughs> for him. He you know, he was uh, Chua Sik Chong, his name. I asked them, mm. the streets also in Port Lang all changed, you know, the names and all. So I went from house to house. I still couldn't trace him. He was a lovely person. So he was doing some renovation for me here when I first moved in 1970. Then mm. he told me, mm. You can your room bagus, chante. Mm. So again, you can room in the bagus. So he had bought this from a Japanese chap who was mm. going back to Japan. And he got it cheap. So he, it was, I think the price then was well above $10,000 or something like the set, you know, because dining set plus lounge plus uh, it's so many things together. Mm. So he said, you play pakai. I said, tapi tabla bayar lah. <laughs> so he came and put it here, you know, for me. Mm. And uh, it's thick. It's thick, you know, you you can see it, you know, this. Yeah, it's can you see? I wonder whether you can see it, you know. The, I, I, I'll put uh. the lights. You know, it's, it's all thick. And I mm. have been using it ever since. Wow. Oh. Ah, mm. You know. There, there, all this. Can you can you see it? Hmm. Can see, yeah. Cannot, huh? No, you yeah. have to turn your oh, camera to... that way. Uh, okay, I change, yeah. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you can change. How do I change it? Oh, you just How physically I... physically turn your. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can uh, you yes. see it? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know all this. Mm. You know. Mm. This is actually. I only, I, these things, I only change the upholstery really, yep. quite recently. Mm. And so many items, there's got so many items. You know. My house is in a mess. Like. But these are good, these are good wood, sir. Good wood, yes. Yeah, they're yeah, all good, you know. So I have been, uh, my house is in a mess, you know why? Yes. On the 20, on the 18th morning, floodwaters came oh, in. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got all... The floor is all damaged. You know, the floor is uh, laminated plywood. Mm. So mm -hmm. it's all kambang already. So thank God uh, the insurance people came. Yeah. Uh, and they said, okay, they have approved uh, that I can change the floor and all that. Quite a lot of things. Like, they were quite oh. good, the insurance people. So I had to work <laughs> on it. Otherwise, it's all in a mess. That's why oh. all the things are on the table. How high did the flood uh, come in the top? You see, what happened was the flood waters came in from the uh, what do you call from the water trap. Uh. You know, it's not from the toilet or anything. You know, your bathroom, the uh. water trap. Huh? So the water. back, the water flowed backwards uh, oh. to the back, and the back part of the drain was flooded. So the water had to come out somewhere. Mm. So it came out through the water trap. And when the water came out through the water trap, clean water, 
from the kitchen side. So it came. I didn't know it was about three o'clock in the morning. I was sitting here doing some work because mm. Mrs. Peter is not too well. So I stay up late to make sure that she sleeps well or something. Mm. And then only I go and sleep. So I go up, check on her and all that. And she's mm. fully asleep. I will then only I go up and have a shower or something. So what happened was mm. I was here and then I felt uh, it was raining and I didn't realize and then suddenly I felt my feet uh, something underneath a bit cold, a bit watery like you know. Then I went and looked in front there was no water. Hmm. Then I opened the back kitchen uh, the water was there. And I opened the, I had to wake up the maid. I woke her up so she got up and she this is on the same level as the kitchen floor. So she mm -hmm. got up and she put her feet on the ground. She got <laughs> water also. Mm -hmm. And so I tell you, I suffered like mm -hmm. uh, at that mm -hmm. time. Whom, whom do you call? Of course, when I told some of my our ACS boys, they said, Sir, you could have just called any one of us. If we couldn't come, we would have got some fellas to come there and do it. La. I mm -hmm. said, No, la. at that time, my mind doesn't work at all. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was there. And the water, you see, we had built a kind of a, put a concrete slab like from the back kitchen to the inner kitchen. The water mm. came over that uh, and came on this side. So we had to carry the water literally and pour it outside. I, mean, I went through quite a difficult <laughs> period. La. Anyway, that was wow. life. Mm. Uh, so after that, we have fixed a pump. Mm. A pump that, uh, and there is a sump in front of the house. So the water collects mm. in the sump, and then uh, from there it's pumped out. So you don't get a thing. So that was, that was, mm. uh, that is why all these things are lying on the table. No time to do it and lazy to do also. Which part of Clang? Clang Jaya, that is Taman oh, Goodwood. Oh. Those days, oh, Taman good Goodwood. Okay. You know, there's a school in front, Raja Lumo. I mean, those days, your time almost school there. It was empty ground. It was empty. It was Sava Padi. Uh, what? Sava at that time. Oh, because Sava in the Padi. 70s. Yeah. <laughs> something like that, you know. <laughs> All muddy. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, so they used to call it Goodwood. Now, no more Goodwood. Okay. Now, they call it Clang Jaya. Uh, I remember I Goodwood, but not yeah. Clang Jaya. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Same here. I, Goodwood is our time, uh, but Clang Jaya, yes. no. Taman yeah. Goodwood. I remember yeah. Taman Goodwood. Yeah. Taman Goodwood, yes. Uh, so like that. So that um, is like the way to Banting there, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Estate like these were all estates those days. Rubber estates, you know, or oil palm. <laughs> but nowadays you can't even see a tree down there, Dato. Oh uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> all 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 the way to Banting, you cannot, yes. you know, all the sites are uh, everything but is developed. Sawit there, right? No, no yeah. more. No, no more. more. Uh, yes, uh, I remember. Uh, no, no. Yeah. The last so time I was in Klang, from uh, hunting uh, to Klang is all houses. Uh -huh. All yes, developed, uh, all highly developed. Fully uh, developed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell you, now Klang it's all fully developed. Them. Now it's fully developed, yes. <coughs> in fact, there's a, the Taman Chilung. There's a yeah. route where go all the way to, to the Port other Klang. side, right? Yeah, it goes to Port uh, Klang. We used to do cross country uh, and all uh, there. Uh, yes. Uh, the Taman Chulung, um, what happens is you go from Banting Road, you go right to Pandamaran. Mm. You can go. But now it's such a busy road, you know. Mm. And there are mm. houses on both sides, shops. On, the town has developed this side. La. You uh -huh. see that uh, the Klang town is old town is old town, nothing, nothing much there. Hmm. The whole township has moved to the site. And from here it is moving on to Banting side or to KL side, you know. So they connect to um, Kota Kamuning and all these kind of things on the other, on the way to KL. And then on the road to uh, uh, Port Klang also. The other road, they call it the Kassas Highway. Ah. That goes all the way to the factory, out to the port, port authority and all this kind of things. 
for the traffic is so, you know, to drive is quite frightening. Mm. If, you dry, if, you, if you drive in Singapore and you want to come and drive here, you, <laughs> you'll find it crazy. Actually, it's terrible. Mm. Uh, and we have got the, what do you call the uh, um, LRT, yeah. LRT or MRT or whatever it is. Uh, 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 uh. So it is on the way to completion. Mm. So that mm. blocks the road, you know, it goes above the highway, you know, Banding Road. So can you imagine yes. all the way? Uh, it comes all the way from uh, Shalang. From there, you know. So it will go right up to almost uh, out of Klang Town on the way to Banting. So stop there. What's uh, Botanic? Taman Botanic, that side? Yeah, yeah. Fast, fast Botanic. It will go on. Fast Taman Botanic. Uh, botanic is, of course, uh, uh, supposed to be a high-class housing area. Oh. There are two types. One is Ampang Botanic and the other is Botanic. Mm. You know, so they uh, they're very uh, quite expensive and nice houses. Those days, it was not so bad. Now, the prices are very high. Mm. Buying a house now is, you know, it's terrible. But oh. people, people seem to have the money. La. I don't know how. Mm. <laughs> they seem to have the money to buy. <laughs> I don't know how. You see, I I mean I mean I I, I tend to worry about yeah, our kids. Especially during COVID. Yeah, I don't know where they get the money from. <laughs> you know, but of course, if you are in certain positions and if you are politically connected, you don't have to know how the money comes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, true. That's how it is. I'm sure in Johor also you. You'll be wondering, you, you know, how it is going to happen. Mm. But, but in Johor, the royal family is involved in, in yes, the, yes. everything, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, it is so. Pahang, the Pahang royalty also is involved very heavily. See, the only royalties that are not totally involved would be mm. the Perlis. Perlis man, you know. Mm. Uh, he's a decent chap. Then the Negri Simbilan man. Because this current Negri Simbilan ruler was the one who's, who was this pushed out. Mm. You know, the other family was a very influential family. They all got Western names and all that, Mike and Peter and all this kind of Twanku, Twanku Jaffa's children. Yeah. Uh, they are a business like family a lot. But this time, the Undangs did not give them the lineage. They gave it back to the one who was displaced earlier, Tunku Muhiris. Mm. You know, I mean, he was an ordinary citizen. He was, mm. he was, uh, I think he's a, he's a lawyer. Yeah, very nice chap. Mm. I've met him. Very nice. Mm. So he's a, quite a decent chap. But sometimes the pressure is so great, they can't do anything. You know, mm. like you see, awarding the titles and all that. You know, yeah. all this comes from the Mantri mm. And he says, you have to give, you have to give. There's no choice. You know, the ruler just, the ruler cannot say, I cannot give it to him, you see. Mm. Uh, but uh, he is not, he's quite a decent man. He's, he's quite a good man. He and, and of course, uh, the Perak chap is quite nice. Mm. You know, the Perak ruler, mm. uh, he's quite a decent person. And uh, and then the Klantan man is not interested in all this. He has his own personal problems to worry about. Or get, get married, get married secretly, or get married, you know, all kinds of things, and keep one wife here, keep one wife there. So he's not bothered about all this. The others are not very this thing. Like. So. Royalty is royalty. You cannot see the the Tranganu royalty. They are trying to fix up that lady, uh, the lady who writes. Who is that? Uh, Rowling, 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 sir. What? Uh, Claire, 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 Claire,
They are trying to fix uh, it. The Sarawak report. Uh. Ah, Sarawak report. Mm. The, oh. And now uh, our legal system also, I don't know what you guys think. Najib mm. is now going to get Queen's Council to fight. <laughs> oh. fight I don't know. La. I don't know. The whole world knows how this thing it is. And mm. uh, Queen's Council. So you can imagine imagine the amount of money they have, you know. Mm. Mm. I'm sure, Peter, you wouldn't want to be working in the legal uh, this thing in Malaysia, like you would have. <laughs> in fact, in fact, I'm I'm also holding a practicing, practicing cert in Malaysia. Uh -huh. uh, I have a firm uh, together with a Malaysian. Uh, who is also my foreign registered foreign counsel in in my firm here? Oh, so oh, both oh. of us are, are Malaysian, so we started a firm there. Oh. Peter Ong and Naya. Peter Go Ong and Naya. Uh, and Naya, ah. yeah. Ah. She's a distant yeah. she's a distant relative of the uh Devan Naya, the oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. So so okay, do you she was in she was in uh quite close to Kappa Singh's uh yeah yeah Turan. Uh, in fact she's supposed to be traveling on in the car that Kappa Singh died. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so that day somehow she decided not to go. Mm -hmm. uh, if she, she had gone like her working in Penang. Uh, if she had gone, probably Kappa Singh would have been alive. <laughs> the, the driver wouldn't have slept, you know. Maybe <laughs> uh, you know uh, they She's would have been talking. Younger. Yes, huh? Yeah. Uh, so you can come and uh, take up cases in the Malaysian courts. Uh yes. Oh. Yes. Mm. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, but so now this is this is her. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Ah. <laughs> yeah, pretty lady. Lady. Uh, Karpal Singh's uh, daughter. Uh, no, no, daughter, no, daughter. No, 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 no. Uh, Karpal Singh's uh, daughter, uh, Sangeet, Sangeet Ko, mm. was was uh, in Methodist College when I was the principal. I see. Oh, uh, she came to my law firm. Yes, huh? She visited my law firm uh, where, uh, I think, last year? Oh, two years uh, back. Two years back. So... Karpal used to come for report card days. Mm. So he will be standing and as parents, they will be standing outside and waiting. La. So ah. one day I, I told, somebody came and said, Karpal is saying his waiting also. I said, no man, Sangeet's father. I said, ask him to come in. He came and told me, I said, Mr. Peter, don't do that. I will mm. take my turn. I will mm. wait and come. Don't do that, he said. He didn't want to, he didn't want to, Although I invited him, he didn't want to come and do it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, ah, yes. He insisted that he will have his turn and then he will come and sit. Another another gentleman I will always remember is, uh, I don't know whether you heard of him, uh, is uh, former deputy minister from City of Wanla, Richard Ho. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Richard Ho? No. No. Um, you know, he's, uh, I think he was also a lawyer, Richard Ho. Mm -hmm. So what deputy minister for something and all that. Perfect gentleman. You know, I, I'm a crazy headmaster, you know. Mm -hmm. So when, the, when he came to have his uh, son admitted in my school, mm -hmm. so I said, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know who he was. I said, I'm sorry, um, I have no place, sir. Mm. I, I said, I'm sorry, sir, I don't have place for your son in my school. Uh, no vacancies. <laughs> then uh, as he was going away, he said, okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Peter. And then he was walking away. And mm. after that, I looked at the form, you know. And he said, mm. he said oh, Deputy Minister for Education at one time uh, or something. Uh, so uh, I said, he said, then I called him back. I called him back and I said, uh, Mr. Richard Ho, you are the, the Mr. Richard Ho, the minister. 
yes. Mm. He just said yes. So <laughs> the, the, this, this is the better part of it. The conversation was going on. So the boy was here. And then I said, uh, I wanted to interview the boy. So the father was sitting there. And I said, <laughs> the boy came and sat down. I said, no, you don't sit till I tell you to sit. I didn't ask you to sit. The father also stood up. <laughs> you know, Richard also. <laughs> I said, no, no, sir, no, sir, you sit down. I said, no, I want to teach these guys a little bit of discipline. I said, when you go to a place, you don't just go and sit down. You wait for the person you're meeting to invite you to sit down. These are things that I value more than just giving you academic, uh, this thing. So the father stood up, you know, I said, <laughs> I'm very embarrassed. I said, no, no, no. Then uh, I gave him a place. So you know what happened? Mm. The father was very close to me. I mean, you know, we used to confide. We also, he was also a Catholic. So uh, this boy uh, joined and this boy did well in his studies and he went to become a, I think uh, he succeeded in because he graduated and he became a very successful man. So mm -hmm. one day when his father died, he invited me. He said, my father passed away, sir. I'm sure you want to know about it. I said, yes. So when I came, he told me, sir, mm -hmm. what you taught me, I have learned from you. It has benefited me. He said, I met with an accident. I knocked somebody's car and I came mm -hmm. out and I apologized to that man first. Mm -hmm. The man looked at me and said, you just touched my car. Why are you apologizing? He said, that's how mm -hmm. I was trained in my school. And which school do you come from? He said, at Methodist College, Kuala Lumpur. And my principal always said that I must humble myself before anything, even though I am in the right I must humble myself. And that man so became so impressed. And he told him, no, no, no. Young man, you don't have to worry about anything. You just go ahead. So he said, he was telling me, you know, I, I always remember what you have said. So then his mother also passed away. Sad luck. So sometimes uh, your things that you do, crazy things you do as a headmaster, you, you get it back in different ways. Like, Anyway, ah, so I was not that crazy when I was in uh, ACS. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that I had, uh, when I was in La Salle, uh -huh. I had a coffin sent to me, you know, a coffin oh, yeah. about uh, 18, 18 inches long. Uh, 18 inches long. I think... Um, uh, Philip's brother might know about it, but he was not involved that year. It was not his batch. This is another batch. They had sent a coffin with an, uh, with a, an effigy of me in the box and with a voodoo pin struck to the heart. And oh. it was posted, you know. And in it, they said, uh, your next step, your life is cheap these days. And yours is worth only $200 in Pandamara. Your mm. next step may be your last step. Be careful. Oh. Now, how do I know who it is? You know? And mm. of course, they said they're not happy with you and all these kind of things from La Sala. Mm. So I didn't know what to do. So it's a parcel posted, Klein Post Office. Okay. So I had a good friend, uh, Philip will know him like Mr. Anthony oh. Lopez. Joseph I heard uh, of him. Uh, Anthony Lopez's brother, Joseph Lopez. Philip? Yeah, yeah, that's right. uh, The late yeah. uh, Joseph Lopez, because yeah. he was also as helping me with discipline. So I called him, we looked at it, and then he said, okay, why don't we go to the post office? So we went and asked him, was this parcel posted here? said, yeah, it was posted here. 
And they said, do you know who posted? He said, there were a group of boys. They were collecting money and all these kind of things. They're hanging around here. And they did. I said, okay. So we came back. That's why school magazines are very important. Mm. I took the school magazine of that year. And I took it there and showed this postal clerk. Mm. So he identified couple, two, three of them. <laughs> These are the boys. For them. Good for us. Lah. So we started the investigations. Lah. Mm. You know, and we, we caught them. We caught them. Mm. One of them, uh, actually, it was a, it all happened because of a mistake. Mm. And I think uh, mm. I was partly to blame. You see, the football team was playing football mm. and uh, they were not listening to the football master who was a Malay gentleman called Chegu Jiran. He's still alive. And he mm. came and complained to me and he said, You see, Kita Suda Billy Jesse Baru, Kita Billy Sloa Baru, Dia Tarapakai, Dia Mapakai, Dia Sindri Punya Pakai. And then Siapa Atu, Why do you have a captain? Lah. Mm. So I said, they, I wanted to punish them. I mean, you are disobeying your teacher, mm. so it is not right. So mm. I didn't call them up and school them or anything. So when I went for the combined school selection, they were selecting the players. So one of them was a guy called Stanley Thalian Po. I don't know whether you all have heard of him. He was the captain. He was selected. So I said, no, Lian Po cannot be selected by, by a combined school, for combined schools. Mm. He's under suspension. Mm. So this was in the presence of a number of other teachers from all the schools, you know. This is for a Klang district yeah. team. So one of these bloody teachers was giving private tuition to our boys in uh, La Salle boys mm -hmm. and all that. He went back and told them, yo, Mr. Peter, he's a useless <laughs> man. La. We selected Dan Po, but he said that play is under suspension. Now, I did not announce the suspension, you know. I just want to penalize him Mm -hmm. and then call him and advise him. But that was also wrong. I didn't make it public. So this philosopher, this teacher has told them, and so this they heard about it, and so they became very angry. How can you victimize Lian Po like that? Mm -hmm. So they got together and they did this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? And of course, Lian Po, uh, I explained it to Lian Po's father. Lian Po's father was a mm -hmm. perfect gentleman, but the father said, no, then Po, you want to study? Either you study in La Salle or mm. you, leave, you don't study. He insisted he finishes here, you see? Mm. So because I explained to them a situation and all that. But Lian Po went on to London University and got a first ah. class, first class mm. honors and he settled mm. in the UK, like, doing very well. Mm. You know? But he and I had no anger with each other. These other people like his supporters, you know? So they were... You know, they were very angry with me. So I explained to them, every parent I called, every, and who are the parents? Who are the parents? Port Authority, channel manager, um, mm. and then uh, OCPD son, and then uh, all top lawyer's son. You know, you know, lawyer David Anthony, that was a lawyer, big firm, his son, all, all, all the big shots. They were the people who had signed this... Mm. Uh, this thing against me, you know. So I apologized to them and I said, I told the parents I had to do what I had to do. I might have been wrong, but it was not to punish them. So the parents were all, and of course they, we sort of made up. But the best part of it is I, I, I carried on teaching them and everything. And the following year, the following year, on the same date, I received another parcel. <laughs> and it was a book, one of these autograph books, where mm. all these boys had written, you know, an apology, apology. The devil overcame us. We are sorry for what we have done. We still mm. respect and love you. I still have got that autograph book. Wow. Every one of them had apologized, you know. So from then, every time you go for a uh, La Salian reunion, they will insist that I go and sit on their table. Uh, you know, they'll take photographs. 
they'll talk about those things. All of them are very successful, very successful, mm. you know, doing very well. Mm. So one such chap's daughter was in Methodist College when I went, <clears throat> no, in Telamaris when I went there. So I saw the name A. Oh, you are so-and-so's daughter, is it? <laughs> she said, yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just tell your father that I am the principal of this school. Uh, Nambiar, Nambiar, you know. Oh. Uh, he was, uh, his name is a Nambiala. He was, I think, uh, some big company director, you know. So the, <laughs> he rang me up and said, sir, 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 sir. Don't, don't, don't tell them anything about it. <laughs> you know, so I just laugh. You know. uh, so life is like that. La. And uh, then, Dato, people yes. say ACS is notorious. <laughs> uh, people no, say ACS is... is notorious. He seems LaSalle is worse. <laughs> no, no. They, they, take, they took it out. They took yes, it out me in that way. Like, yeah, yeah. It, uh, you see. But, but, the, but you know what? The discipline of the school was very good. You know? Mm. The discipline of the school was good. But this uh, group of persons, I don't blame them because it was a case of misunderstanding, you know? Mm. And the tuition teacher was a guy who went and, you know, uh, said all these things without realizing because I wanted to take my own time and call up Lienpo and talk to him. But before mm -hmm. I could do that, it was all, you know, went out of this thing now. But um, ACS, of course, uh, it was it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I had a lot of letters and things when I first went. Uh, oh, the devil from La Salle is here. <laughs> no, I still have a copy of it, you know. The devil from La Salle is already here. And then he, they sent me letters. Um, we are not La Salians. We are from ACS. And we will not button our collars. That's our style. <laughs> you know, things like that. You know. oh. Uh, oh, a lot of these things they, they wrote. And then um, the black stripe of Kung Fu. That was, they signed, you know, the letter. Uh. Then, uh, uh, so a few things like that. And then the, they said, uh, we don't want you to this. So one day I went up at the assembly and I told them, I know I have received a lot of, I know I'm not popular here. I did not come here by choice. For me, it is a task, a job. And I was sent here by the Ministry of Education and I have to perform my task. I have a job to do and I will do it, I said. So they, I said, and um, I, I'm too old to change. <laughs> I want ACS to be the best. And I will strive for it in my own style. But don't uh, push me. All these letters that I have received from you, and some of you who have challenged me, and you have said that uh, you will do this to me, do that to me. Okay, I will wait for you after school. I'll wait for you after school. I've said to me, I will do, carry out my duties and I will not change my style. And there's only one thing that can change me, I said. That is what the cowboys call boot hill. But in Klang, it is known as Simbang Lima. Hmm. You know, boot hill is where they bury the People who are shot dead, you know, in the you know uh, high noon and okay corral and all that. Okay, you know, they, they will go and bury them there. So I said, in Klang, it is Simpanglima. I cannot change. So, if you want to meet me, meet me after school. I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward, but I will fight you. You want me to fight you? I'll fight you. I may I lose, but I am not a coward. But nothing is going to change. And that's, remember this, only boot hill. So after that, they quietened down. <laughs> they quietened down a bit. Now, the first batch, I had a lot of things left, I tell you. Which year was that, sir? Which, which year did you came to uh, It was in 79. I came there 79. 
Okay, because we all, I only know you as my headmaster all the way, all the form, form one to form mm. six. That's yeah. right. All of you came <laughs> form one. That's mm. right. Yeah. Form one, uh, yeah. Yeah. Was so uh, Gerard Lazarus your time? He's, so you still two or three years. Was, he's two or Gerard three years Lazarus? my junior. Junior, yeah. yeah he's two right. to three years our junior. I also uh-huh. remember uh, Mr. Solomon who committed suicide. Suicide, yes. Yeah. Always in my mind. He, he was a, a mental case. Right? He was a schizophrenic. Right? Mm. You know, he was a schizophrenic. He was, I mean, you, I don't know how you can, very poor, very sad, you know. And uh, he couldn't manage himself. And that's why he committed suicide. Uh, I knew, I, I, I had given him, uh, I don't know whether you all realize or not. When Solomon was teaching, I used to have another teacher coming to take away his lessons also. Because I know he couldn't perform the task. I had, double, I had to double up his lessons with somebody else. But I had to keep him on. I didn't want to. I was afraid that he would do what he did. Mm. You know, I was trying to talk to the psychiatrists in university hospital and all that. Uh, they said they can't do anything, but they cannot simply give him leave. You know, mm-hmm. he must go back to his natural surroundings and trying to recover. That was how they looked at it at that time. So his wife knew that I was fully supporting, helping him out. Mm-hmm. So what can we do? He was a nice, very nice uh, gentleman. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Uh, he was, in fact, he was also uh, in our our chapel services. He'll be there with our, uh, what, Mrs. Trisali. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yes. He's a good man, very good man. But then you see, what can we do? These kind of illnesses sometimes. His children are all doing well, you know. Oh, okay. In Perak, in Hall. His wife passed away. His boys are all doing well. They are in Ipola. So I've lost touch with them. Uh, and Mr. Yeah, Peter, we also, yes. we also uh, lost a few teachers. Uh, Mr. Yes. Iso, uh, uh, Mr. Ngwili. Yes. Then uh, lately, uh, I think one year ago, was uh, our good friend, Gerard Lazarus. Uh, no, we also lost, Ms. I mean, your time, I don't know whether these teachers were teaching you, Mr. Philip Lee. Oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Esau? Mr. Esau, yes, yes. Quite yes. close to 10 years ago. Yes. Uh, Mr. Of course, Mr. George passed away. Mrs. George is still alive and strong. Mm. Um, then... Uh, Pan Chok Chu, uh, I uh, know his Pan daughter. Chok Chu. Uh, his Pan daughter Chok Chu is not even, yeah. Which one? Uh, 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 Jua. Uh, one is Pamela, the other is Pauline. Pauline, Pauline, yeah. I Pauline know, is uh, Pauline, Singapore. Pauline about you. Yes, yes. She She's me, in uh, Singapore. Uh, mm. uh, she is now in England. In, England, yes, uh, yes. She married a British. British man, yes. Yeah. Mm. She's very close to my second son, Roy. She talks to him quite often. I've, yeah, then uh, who else? What happened to Pon Ruby? We lost touch with her. Oh, she's okay. She's all right. She's oh. in touch. I, I spoke to her even about two weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, she keeps to herself. She doesn't unnecessarily go anywhere. And she uh, she herself has got some, you know, uh, rheumatic pain or something like that. She lives with her brother, who's a doctor. Mm in uh, opposite uh, University Hospital. She lives there and she, she has a sister who is living in a condo further up. Uh, just the three of them. Lah. But she's still nice. She worships at St. Paul's Church. Um, she's Anglican. Anyone uh, remember Mr. Mr. you saw who the thunderous uh, sneeze? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Miss, <laughs> I, Miss, I remember that when he sneezes, he was so loud. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. but he can sing very well. And he, right? Yeah, I remember uh, his songs during the teacher's uh, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he will sing all fun songs, fun songs funny yeah. songs. His wife also passed away recently. Mm. 
She used oh. to be a tuition teacher and all that. She passed away. Uh, but your time, Mr. Michael Xavier, didn't come there. Um, that was later, yeah. From your time, I think, uh, I don't know who else, other teachers? Uh, Mrs. Jacob? Um, uh, Mrs. Teacher. Jacob, of course, passed away. Oh, okay. uh, Mr. Lee Ying Sing still around at Taman Gemira. Lee Ying Sing, Lee Ying Sing, yes. Lee Ying Sing is fine. She's she's very active. Oh, Mrs. Uh, Pan Kiam Kiam, Pan Kiam Kiam, Pan Kiam Kiam. Ah, Pan Kiam Kiam is around. He's around, but after La Salle, he went to after ACS. He went to La Salle. He was teaching there for a long time. What happened to yeah. Jigu Bokta? Is he still around? Chegu Mokta is around. Oh, he is. Chegu Alias passed away. Yeah, Chegu Alias passed away, yes. Uh, Chegu Mokta is around. Chegu Basiro and, uh, is still around in Adalas. Uh, he's around now. Uh. I'm not sure. Uh. I'm not sure. I, I, didn't, I didn't see him. Oh. Uh, I haven't had any contact with Chegu Basiro. Chegu Mokta Chegu Saleh passed away. You know Chegu oh, Saleh? Oh, I see. Saleh, the Basa, Basa teacher. Oh, I see. The, the teacher the, that... Um, with the always with cricket, I remember. Tawa, Tawa, ah, Tawa. Uh, Tawa is around. Tawa is around. Ah. Oh. Uh, his one it's son is. Uh, house. House. Ah, yes. Tawa is around. Oh, his uh, children have all done well. His oh. children have done well. One is a uh, doctor and one is an engineer, I think. Oh, really, Pastor? Yeah. I think really passed away. Okay. Uh, no really... Raini. Who? Who? Chegu no Raini. Ah, Chegu Aziza passed away. You know? No Raini or no? Oh, oh, Aziza. Aziza. Okay. Aziza, you know Aziza? Juan, Juan Aziza. Aziza. Yeah. Who lives? Who lives just behind the school? Hmm. Yeah, she passed away. Juan Aziza. And then. Uh, Others, uh, others are the Mr. Felix Ansel Joseph. Ah, Mr. Course, Felix. Felix Ansel long Joseph time. passed away. Oh. Yeah, long time ago. Long time, long time. Uh, he was football master. Your, football, yeah. Uh, Tao Sing Sing <laughs> was, Sing Sien was your softball. Softball, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Felix was the, also the uh, cricket master, also, right? No, no. Cricket was football, football, football. Mr. Cricket was Tawa, 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 Tawa Ratnam. Tawa Ratnam, yeah. Tawa Ratnam, Tawa Ratnam. Hmm. His son is an eye specialist, you know, one of them. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So the others, others are okay. Like ACS teachers are not too bad. Quite a number of them are okay. Kang, but, Kang, uh, Kang is going to miss uh, Gerard Razaros, especially in the police station. Ah, very yeah. good pro bono lawyer in Kang. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has done a lot, but you see, uh, <laughs> oh, his lifestyle is terrible. Uh, he eat a lot. He drink a lot. Uh, <laughs> and he's uh, no, no, no. He was quite ill, you know. Uh, he had. Uh, he had cancer before. Yeah. Ah, he had cancer, yeah. and then he thought he was recovering, but it went on like it spread. Actually, he had so many operations. He spent a lot of money in the hospitals, you know, liver cancer, and then things like that. Yeah. So he stopped drinking. He stopped drinking. He never drank. Mm. When you when they knew that he was ill, he never drank. Uh, but. Uh, well, he was a good man, la. Very, very charitable, and very uh, helpful to people. Who, he was doing a lot of charity. Quite a lot of people he helped. Yeah, very and, active uh, in Rotarian. Uh, but uh, you see, he he will go and bail out all these criminals from the from mm. the police station and all that. Oh. Have a use. If you want to talk to him for one hour. Half the time he would be talking to 
people saying, I'm, I'm caught, I'm, I, I've been the police station. I'm in the, so he will go and bail them out, you know, no. so that they won't get, they won't get whacked, you know. Okay. Because, mm. uh, that's, that's how it is. Uh, the clan police station, right? The, yes, yes, yes. I remember that. <laughs> uh, you see, <laughs> clan boys are great. La. A lot of the clan Indian boys have become Datos or Datos Sri, you know. Hmm. Indian boys. Oh. Uh, you see, one day, I, one day I was at a shop. I went and uh, I was eating. Then I wanted to go and pay. Hmm. That fellow said, Surabaya, you know, <laughs> Indian chap. Uh -huh. I said, uh, who paid? He said, there, that corner there. So I looked at the fellow. I don't know here. It's an Indian boy. So I just waved to him. Then afterwards, he mm -hmm. came. I to say thank you. He came. Then I spoke to him. I said, I said uh, you are, what year? He said, he mentioned some year, la, much after you all. Not very old, you know. So he said, uh, uh, I said, what do you do? Uh, he said, I'm in the, dealing with the uh, Pahang. You know, I'm working in Pahang mm -hmm. family and all that. Then I, I told him, give me your name and address. He says, Dato Sri, so and so. So I said, uh, mm. so you're a Dato Sri. Congratulations. La. No, la, sir, I did some work for the, I worked with the Sultan of Pahang. So mm. he made me a Dato Sri. So all these fellows, a lot of them are like that, you know. They, what do you know what they do? They are the scrap metal dealers, you know. <laughs> Philip will know, la. all the scrap deal, scrap metal leaders, uh, dealers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they make a lot of money, you know. And so what happens is they are involved in a lot of illegal things. So a lot of them will get caught by the police. And when the police get, uh, get them, they will start calling for Gerard. Mm, Gerard. Uh, so Gerard will go and bail them out. So one fella who used to go in and out went and got himself a dato ship. <laughs> so we asked him why. Uh, he said, I pay for the Dato ship once only. Then when they know that I'm a Dato, the police won't hammer me every time they arrest me. You know, the police won't hammer me. So that is how they get their Dato ship and all that. Mm. A lot of the scrap metal dealers are Datos. Yeah. Oh. You know, yes, when I come for the AC Soviet dinner, I can see them. There's one group of Indian fellows who come, they'll kiss my feet and this and that, no Indian custom. And they're all Datos threes and Datos and all that. Mm. I suppose uh, it happens everywhere, la, mm. in every state. So good luck, my dear friends. Mm. I think uh, I, I have spoken more than all of you <laughs> put together. You know? that's, 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 it's been good. Huh? It's been good to hear all this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. We enjoy the stories. It, it's, uh, so good. Fact, it's so Singapore. good listening to you, Nato, after uh, so many years. In fact, in Singapore, uh, in Singapore, ACS boys are the, also the notorious one. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, my, uh, my second son is in ACS Bakker, uh, uh, pure ACS boy until secondary. Uh, uh, I wanted to put my elder son in, but he was a, he is a dragon boy. Uh, so even... Even I'm attending Wesley Methodist Church, uh, that mm. is part mm. of the part of this ACS. Yes. Also, I couldn't get it. Yes, so huh? my second spot in, yeah. I went to visit um, uh, ACS Singapore and MGS Singapore when I was in Methodist College. Mm. And um, ACS Singapore, what's that, Lawrence Chana? At that time, you know? Yeah, uh, yes. He was there. So I used there to are find... three ACS uh, in Singapore. There is independent, Parker, and ah. junior. Yes. Uh, this was the uh, the independent one. Mm. Oh, independent. Oh. Uh, independent. They have got their own chapel. They have got their own uh, surveys and all these kind of things. You know, along along Bukit Timah, isn't it? Uh, and then you turn along to along Bukit Timah is ACS Parker. Parker. Yeah. Uh, Baka, I huh? I still. Okay, I still, uh, I mean, be, before the COVID, I have been playing uh, the float, the boys' brigade. I'm oh. saying that brigade in Singapore. Ah. Uh, we call the blues, the, the blues. 
So uh. all of us dressed in blue and we play for their enrollment service. It says Barker. And uh, MGS the is... the old boy. Huh? MGS is like a ship. Yeah. M huh? MGS was in this uh, Princep Street around that Mount... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mount Sophia there. And they moved. Uh, moved, mm -hmm. eh? So I used to go there because they used to come and recruit students from Methodist College. Mm. You know, mm. once they finish their lower secondary, they have a test and they will give them scholarships and take them there to oh. Singapore. Uh, oh, I see. So I used to go there frequently, you know, every year and they will come and meet us here and all that. I forgot mm. the names. I know that I knew the names of all the heads and all that at that time, you know. Mm -hmm. So we went and visited them and spent time with them. Uh, it was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had a good, good uh, around. And you know, and I went from went to a number of schools. I served after the after ACS Clang. I went mm -hmm. into Methodist College. Then mm -hmm. I developed a school in Central called Wesley Methodist School. Mm. And that school was one of the most sought-after schools in the country. Mm. Private oh. school, private. At that time, it was not international, it was private. For mm. a place about 120 students, I had about seven, mm. 800 people applying, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, the, we had to be very careful. And, uh, of course, we have pressure from uh, people from ministry and other places wanting to take, you know. And there are, we also had Malay children. Originally, most of them were Indians, I mean, Chinese and Indians. But later, Malay children also joined in, you know. And mm -hmm. they, they did well. Quite a lot of them did very well. Now it is an international school after I retired. I retired from there in 2006. Mm -hmm. I put up the building there, you know. I put up the, I built yeah. the whole school. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the, you see, because the Methodist mission was very good. They gave me full control of the, uh, school, they had their own financial team, but what I wanted, they would listen to me. So I said, I want to develop this school. I want to make the Methodist College is in a city area you cannot grow. So I want to develop this. So I moved from Methodist College, form two, form three, form four, form five, all the way to the side. So yes. Methodist College was only an A level college, you know? Yes. So I was managing both. Then the ministry said, you have to give up one. So I prefer to go to the school than to stay mm. with the college, you see. So that's how I went. I stayed there till 2006. But uh, they made me stay on, uh, put mm. me, uh, gave me a salary and kept me there. They said, no, you can only retire. At the, uh, I said, the building is all ready. I said, you retire only in March. I said, why? we have to have the blessing of the building in March after that. So they were very good. They gave me a, a what do you call a gratuity and they kept paying me a salary, you know, till March. Hmm. And I said, the headmistress, the new headmistress is here and all that. The building is all complete. So I don't have to. So no, no, you come when you like. I said, what is my uh, designation? They said, uh, you are the... Uh, Honorary? No, 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 no. <laughs> they called it... Uh, they call me uh, something to do, like something like advisor, you know, actually it is not oh. uh, consultant or something. They put me, uh, you're mm -hmm. consultant to the school. I said, what consultancy? No, no, you're yeah. a consultant to the school, you'll stay. Because they were very good. They wanted to give me a nice farewell. And after the blessing of the building, then the bishop and uh, this thing uh, sent me off. Very nicely. So that is, then I was, uh, for a while, I was just uh, around. Then this school, uh, Wesley, I mean, sorry, Stella Maris in Pudu, hmm. they asked me whether I could go and help them. So I'm a Catholic, although I was serving the Methodist for 20, hmm. 23 years. Hmm. I'm a Catholic, you know. So I said, okay, I'll come and help you all. I said, no, 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 your reputation will help us. Our enrollments are going low. We mm -hmm. need some help. I said, okay. La. The bishop also asked me. I said, okay, I will come. 
So I stayed there for another 10 years. That's where I retired in 19. Oh, when I was okay. 80, I said, by 80, I said, no, I must retire. Cannot go on mm -hmm. after this. Because I did leave house at 5.45 in the morning, you know, which mm -hmm. means I get up at 4.30 in the morning. I leave 5.45, I go, I go straight to church. Then from there, I go to the school. Then I get home here mm -hmm. by 5.45 in the evening. Mm -hmm. So it was a very tough life. Yeah. And then later, you don't look like in your 80s. Huh? Yeah. I oh, sure, no I tell you. <laughs> now that with this COVID thing, I have gone down quite a bit, you know. And uh, in fact, I have to go for uh, go for a uh, procedure uh, because oh. my heart rate mm. is very low. Oh, okay. So what happens is I tend to feel sleepy. Sometimes I doze off. Oh. So IG, IGN says that. You may need to put a pacemaker. 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 Okay. pacemaker. But before the pacemaker, is it you must have your your angiogram that you did some 10 years ago. It mm. said that your arteries were narrowing. Mm. Mm. So you need to get a clearance. So you must do your angiogram first. Mm. So then we will work on the procedure. So I will have to go through that. So recently, after the flood and all that things, I've been having some kind of pain, you know. Mm. Uh, so I will have to see how it is, whether it is. It is. But then I went to my ECG, my, uh, what do you call, echo, and uh, what do you call, uh, blood test and all that. doesn't show anything of the heart. But then um, only an angiogram will show, you see. So I am mm. just getting ready after Chinese New Year. I will go for my NGO. And then from there, God willing, I will have to see what I do. Mm. So this is the thing that I am going through. So with this, uh, mm. I didn't go out and all that, you know, because of the COVID. Yeah. Uh, so when you don't go out anywhere, you change your lifestyle. So you become, uh, what do you call, very, it's very difficult uh, you know, and you know, I get up at the wrong time, mm. you know, and on top of that, Mrs. Peter is not well. So I have to attend to her. So all my time uh, changed. Like. So <laughs> nursing someone is also, it takes a toll on you. Yes. So, so that yeah. is how it is. Like. Mm. So yeah, that's how it is. So, my dear gentlemen, thank you so much for being so patient uh, and listening to me and old man's tales. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, in fact, this, this, is a, this is a rare occasion that yeah. we hear so much from you. Well, I actually told uh, David, good, I like to listen to them. But, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so, okay. when you... When times are better, I think we should all get together. Yeah. And go and have some chakwaitya or something of that sort. Yeah. Yeah. I know Malawi is on now. Uh, how is <laughs> the Malawi's chakwaitya full? Is he still there? I flip. Yeah, yes. Uh, I, remember, we open, we open. Uh, I remember this fellow taking me there, Jarad. Oh. Jarad, uh, Jarad <laughs> took me there. Uh, he is well known, but that Chakwetia fellow is very well known. All yeah, the he's, he's quite elderly, uh, I think late, uh, late 70s. Uh. Yes, uh. Uh, good luck, like, good, good, good. And so, sorry, can someone take a group photo, a, a, a screenshot? Uh, uh, this uh, Peter take a photo. Yeah. I have, I've taken a few, yeah. For, oh, you've taken a few. Uh, uh, with, with, uh, screenshot from the from my iPad, I will send it later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. With uh, our HM also? Yes. Mm. Ah. Good yeah. luck. Good. Good, so good. take care. Take care. Thank sir. you so thank much. You Love you thank guys. You thank you very much. God bless. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you so God much. Bless. Take care. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter. Bye. Thank you. So hope your election goes through very well. <laughs> <laughs> after uh, Johor, we national election after July. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know. Like, election you know. Until, until July, they sign an agreement. It is not <laughs> going to, it's not going to make any difference to yeah. us. Well. 
this is this is the this is the trial run for the GE ah, thing. This is the trial line. line. That's, that's right. what they're doing. Yes, it's yes. Going to be the trial right. run. Actually, this uh, election uh, is a runaway ticket for two men. Uh, and one is Zahid, one is uh, Najib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get away from the court case. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Mm. But uh, Zahid, Ahmad Zahid is terribly... He's uh, still... He's, now, even now, the mates and all that all have to go through him. Mm. You know, to bring in mates. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know, because I was, I was talking to some of my colleagues down here, oh. we have we have only two choices to vote for, either the corrupt or the incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that you vote for, you are complicit to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so well uh, okay. okay, doctor. Okay, All my right. friends. Okay. God bless you. Okay. okay Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Wow, it's so uh, nice talking uh, to you. Yeah, I didn't know he spent so much time with us. Right. Okay, guys, I, I I got a few friends at home. I am supposed to entertain them. <laughs> huh? uh, I, I just told uh, uh, Tanya, I'll be here only for a few minutes. <laughs> I got caught up. <laughs> I have to run. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Happy Happy New Year to all of you. Bye, Mohan. Okay. Uh, Thanks bye, for joining us. Okay. No problem. Hopefully, the year of that tiger. water tiger will be better for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see you guys. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Good living night. soon. Yeah, got to wake up tomorrow early. Do last minute marketing. Okay, take care. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, Nandi, yeah. Peter, David, thank you very much. Happy thank New Year you. to all of you all. Okay, thank bye. you, Philip. Okay, happy New Year. I end, huh? Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night.